Hi, welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about Wireshark tool. Wireshark is a network analyzer tool. It was written in C, used to analyze the network packets and monitor the network connections. It was available in open source. You can download it as a freely. So let me see how to install the Wireshark tool. First, I am going to install the Wireshark tool by using M. So after under this command hit enter now. Now press Y to continue. Now the installation will be successfully complete. Now next step I am going to install the Wireshark genome for GUI purpose. So after under this command hit enter now. Again press Y to continue. So now the Wireshark package will be successfully installed for genome now next i am going to execute the wireshark tool now i am going to open wireshark in my terminal by using wireshark name so after under this command hit enter now now your wireshark page will be successfully opened so this is a network analyzer tool so start your uh, monitoring uh, press start option so this is the wireshark network analyzer tool page so now I am going to start the connection. So choose the connection type and press start button. So it will be opening now. So it will be shows the list of uh, connection interface here. So now I am going to show how to use this method in shortly and also easy to analyze the network status. Now you want to know the list of available uh, interfaces, press this option. So this tool will be open here. So these are the available interface. So if you want to choose the interface means click this option. It would be assigned for a monitor. So once you select it means I will press close to. Once you assign means press close button to close. Now it will be close on the next. So here the three terminal will be shown here. So first terminal will be shown the single packet transfer details so if you want to click the click this rutted ip means it will be shows the this particular ip details information in uh, hexadecimal and binary and also status so the same things only shown here also if you click the another ip status means it will be changing here so the same information only on the display here also by using this option it will be clearly display about that ip information so the second window second terminal will be shows the drill down details and the third terminal will be shows the hexadecimal and ascii details of the selected ip so the next if you want to filter this specific ip resource means just follow this command so I'm going to check only this particular information. So now press enter. So now it will be shows the particular uh, enter your entered IP interface will be shown here. So it will be easy to understand that uh, particular IP details. So I given here source IP address. So if you want to give the destination IP also you can give the destination IP. To check that so now the next I'm going to show how to filter by the protocols let me see how to do this so now I'm going to filter by HTTP protocol now the HTTP based protocol will be shown here so you can easily identify that IP based on HTTP so if I click the IP means it will be shown the information about that IP how much packets will be transferred and uh, received the details also shown here so next I am going to filter by R condition so after under this statement now hit enter so now the connection based on TCP and HTTP details will be shown here so that's why I am using R statement so you can easily monitor the TCP and the HTTP connection based IP status so next I am going to filter the connection by using uh, port number so I am going to check the HTTP connection so that's why I am entering 80 here 
So after under this command hit enter. Now the next time I'm going to fill this in connection based on port number. So use uh, port number here which connection you want to know. So I'm going to check the status of uh, HTTP. So I'm going to give 80 here for HTTP. So hit enter now. So here your HTTP basic connection details will be shown here. You can again easily monitor the HTTP based connections. So you can give any other port number also to monitor that particular service based on that IP. So this is the easy method to monitor your network analysis by using this uh, Wireshark tool. So after you use this tool, press Ctrl C to close this terminal. So this is the easy method to monitor your network status by using Wireshark tool. So that's all about this tutorial. Let me see you on another video. Thank you.